Okay, today we're going to continue to use uh, color finesse for color correction. So, um, open up After Effects. I'm going to double click in the project panel and I'm going to import our video footage called Mixed Light. I'm going to drag it into a new comp and I'm going to set our color bit rate to 16 bits. And we have two shots in this file. We've got a chip chart and we've got our actual shot. So let's start by correcting the chip chart. So let's find out using I'm going to so I'm going to scrub roughly where the shot is and then I'm going to use page up and page down to go find where the shot is where the shots change and I'm going to use shift command D to split them. And then we're going to set up the chip chart first. So let's go ahead and drop color finesse into that. We will hit the full interface. Okay. Um, before we get started, I would like you guys to set up your waveform monitors to look like this. If you left click on it, you'll get all your options. And so we want that want that area to be Luma, this to be vector scope, this to be RGB waveform monitor, and this one to be histogram. All right. If we look at our chip chart. Uh, We've got a luminance scale that goes from white to black with four shades of gray. And we've got our RGB and our cyan, magenta, yellow. And so using our RGB waveform monitor, we are going to um, balance out this shot. So let's click on RGB. And we'll play in the master. And we're going to set our pedestal levels and our gain levels to all basically match. And so we'll start with our red pedestal, get above it so we can see where it, it is, and we will set it so it just touches black, and then we'll jack up our red grain, our red gain until it just touches 100%. We'll do the same thing with our green pedestal, and our green gain, blue pedestal, oh, sorry, that's gain, okay, I'm on Mr. Pedestal, okay, that's fine, and then we'll pull up our blue gain, okay, and then you'll see that, you know, we've got a, a nice bright shot that's looking pretty good, then we'll go over to curves to complete our white balance and we'll pick the middle gray dropper. I'm going to hold down shift to pick more pixels. Click on that and now we're white balanced and this is our basic setup so we can click OK. Now, so we can see that uh, just by turning on and off the filter that this is after, that's before, so that's the change we're able to make. So I'm going to click this filter, I'm going to hit Command C to copy it, and I'm going to paste it into our actual shot that we want to color correct. And we will click full interface again to enter color correction. So I'm going to left click and drag here in the picture viewer so that we can see the major elements of our picture, which is um, the fluorescence in this elevator, the movie lights that we have on our hero, and the movie lights and the daylight that's coming in on the windows. Now sadly, our chip chart color correction doesn't look all that great because of all the mixed light that's in this situation. But it gives us a nice basic start, and now we can go in and just start tweaking without having to reset up our balances. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go into huge, uh, into HSL, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to desaturate the highlights completely. And if we click it on and off, you'll see up in here how it cleans up the shot right away, and over here how it creates that nice white reference. That, we, that our human eye demands. Now what we're going to do is we'll click on 
shadows and midtones. And just clicking between the two, we're going to adjust the saturation to get the balance that we want on the flesh tone. So her flesh tone looks pretty good there. And now I'm just going to Right. And so that looks pretty good. We've got a nice normal flesh tone and we've balanced out our shot to look pretty darn good. So click OK for that. And then we'll scrub down to where that, that part of the shot was. This is our after, and there's our before, and we did a wonderful job, so go ahead and render that.